Everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thanks for tuning in today and watching the video. Now today I'm going to be talking to you about KAIS. Now KAIS run a inspiring riders program that runs through uh, winter this year through to March next year and that is where they have selected a number of motorcycle riders to wear their heated clothing through the winter period and to post on social media about their experiences with it and their experiences with winter riding. So in doing that, KAIS have provided a number of items to all of the riders to wear through the winter period. I already have the KAIS heater jacket. Here it is, there's a review that I did um, last year. If you're interested in that on a heater jacket, take a look at the review at the end of this video. But today what I wanted to do is to talk to you about the heated trousers that KAIS have sent to, sent to me for the winter riding this year. This is the T103 trousers. And what I'm going to do at the end of it, I'm going to show you how the heated trousers connects to the heated jacket and the heated gloves that I also have as well, and how they can all be powered from one power source. So if you're interested in that, keep watching and let's get into it. So let's take a look at what's in the box. This is the heated trousers. Let's have a look, see what comes with the heated trousers. So you've got a safety conscientious instructions there. You've also got a catalog for their other products as well. Um, Importantly, you get a, a wiring cable. So this goes, connects to your battery and then plugs into either the trousers or your jacket, depending on how you're going to power the trousers. And I'll show you how all of that is set up later. So you get that heating cable, that's that, that power cable. And then in the box as well, of course, is the heated pants. So let's take these out and have a look. Move that out of the way. So here they are, here's the, the heated pants. So the first thing I need to tell you is that these are actually quite substantial. As with the heated jacket, these are actually quite thick. You are not gonna be able to wear these under your motorcycle trousers with your inner thermal lining included as well. I tried it with my heated jacket, I felt like Michelin Man, I couldn't actually move. So you are gonna to have to take out your inner thermals that come with your motorcycle pants to wear these underneath your motorcycle pants. All right, that's really important. So otherwise they'll be too tight. So here's the, uh, the heated trousers. Now uh, you've got one pocket at the top on the front here. And in that pocket, you have a cable that connects to, now that either connects to the power source coming from the bike or it connects to your heated jacket if you have the heated jacket as well. And as I said, I'm gonna show you how all of this connects up later on. On the inside of the trousers, you have this, this flap here that has the, uh, the, the uh, control source where you plug in the controller to control the heat go into the pants. And they sit that simply unplugs and you get the controller that comes with this uh, and that plugs in there so you can control the the power of the or the heat of the the trousers depending on how hot you want them there's a there's a high medium and a low setting on there so those are the two main features that you need to know about about these trousers at the bottom there is zips okay so that just makes it easier getting on under your leggings if you've got legging on leggings on underneath and on the back you've got a nice comfortable stretchy material all right so it's a little bit like spandex i suppose um, so it's a very thin lining on the back where you're going to get the heat from these pants is down the front of these now i've worn these already um, and i have to say as with the jacket once you power these on you feel the heat immediately and the heat will go onto the high setting as soon as you switch these on, and then you use the controller to turn it down to a medium or a cool setting just by one tap of the controller. So you'll get the heat down the front of the, the thighs and also a little bit on the shins as well. Um, and it is beautiful. It is really, really nice when you've got these on. So if you wanna stay warm this winter uh, on your lower half of your body, definitely try out these Kais heated pants. Um, in their own right, they're like an inner thermal anyway, but just in case you get that little bit colder, you can power these, to, uh, power these on to give you the heat that you need. And they're very comfortable to wear as well, but as I said, you will need to take out your inner thermal because these are actually quite robust in terms of the front section, they're quite thick. As I said, the back section of these is quite thin. 
So, so that's the uh, Kais heated pants, okay? Uh, they obviously come with a uh, elasticated top, pop button, and a zip as well. So there's not, not much more to say than that, other than they, they do feel really nice when they're on. I wore these the other day when it was four degrees. Um, oh, and it was beautiful. So, so nice. So if you're interested in keeping warm through the winter on your lower half, get some of these. So links to this product will be in the description down below. So it is an affiliate link. So if you do click on that link and you purchase these pants from that link, um, you do help support the Billy's Bike Adventure channel. It doesn't cost you any extra um, purchasing either from the website link, which I'll include as well, or if you're buying these pants from the affiliate link. Entirely up to you, um, but if you do buy from the affiliate link, you do help Billy's Bike Adventures, so thank you very much for that. So what I want to do now is show you how these pants power on, uh, on their own, and then how they connect to the jacket, with the jacket to the gloves, and how all of that connects so that you can only, you can power it from one power source. So here's the controller, okay? So this is the cable that comes from your battery and plugs into your trousers. Now on the, in, on the inside, you do have a, there is a fuse in there already and that fuse is appropriate for just powering the trousers, okay? So there's a fuse in here, and that is a, I can't quite see, I'll tell you later, but um, that is only appropriate for powering these pants, so the drawer that you need from the battery. If you are going to power these pants, the jacket, and the gloves, you will need uh, a, more, a more substantial fuse, which you will need to change out and, and buy and change out to make sure you've got the right one. I'll show you that shortly as well. So that end obviously is the positive and neutral that connects to your battery. And then you've got the cable here, which plugs into that cable and that's your power source, okay? So here is the controller. And as I showed you before, all you do is you pull that off and then you plug on and these will hang below, and I, having worn these already, these will hang below, or the controller will hang below the bottom of your jacket. So it's really, really easy just to uh, use the, the power button here. You hold and press to, sorry, you press and hold to power on. That will immediately go onto the high setting. And then one press of the button changes it to the medium. Another press goes to the low and then so on and so on. You go back to the high setting. So it's really, really easy to control the heat that you have in these pants whilst you are riding. Um, and I've done that multiple times, really, really easy. You will also have the same for the heated jacket if you have the heated jacket as well. So that's how to power the pants, okay? So I'm gonna show you now how the pants connect to the jacket to be able to power the jacket from the same power source as well as the gloves as well, okay? So stay tuned for that. So here we have the heated, the Kais heated jacket. If you want to have a look at the review for this jacket to get more detail about it, I'm not going to go through all the aspects of this jacket now, but suffice to say, really good. There is a link at the end of the video or in the description for this video as well. So as we were saying just now, the power to uh, connect to the uh, heated pants uh, goes to this cable here that is in this pocket of the pants here, okay? So what we're gonna do this time, the power is actually gonna go to the jacket on this occasion. So if you're using the pants and the jacket in combination, the power goes to the jacket. So unclip the, the power lead from, from the trousers and assuming that this is still connected to your battery, this time what we have is on the underside front part of the jacket on the left-hand side, there is a section here for this cable to come out of. That is what's going to connect to the power cable. So that's going to connect in there and that's obviously connected to your battery and that's where you're going to get the power supply from as you did with the pants. So to heat the pants as well, the same cable that you had connected to the power lead connects under the jacket as well, front and bottom of the jacket, there is a connector pod here and that, that cable simply clips into, into there 
and that is your power going to your pants via the jacket, okay? So you only need one cable connected to your battery. Now in doing this, you will need to change the fuse that you have in your power cable that's built in there, okay? So you will need to change that. Stay tuned and I'll show you what ampage you need because the, obviously the draw from your battery is gonna be higher having these two connected, okay? So you will need to change that. So you will continue to have your controller connected to your pants to power your pants to, to decide what kind of heat you want in your pants. Separately as well, you will have your controller for your jacket. Now these both hang below the bottom of your jacket whilst you're sitting on your bike. So again, very easy to control both the pants and the jacket whilst you're riding. And that is your setup for your heated pants and the heated jacket. So what about adding the heated gloves to this as well to be powered from the one power source? So let's have a look at that. Right then, we've got the trousers and the jacket connected with one power source ready to be powered. We wanna, we wanna power the heated gloves as well from Kais. Very nice and easy. So at the bottom of each sleeve on the heated jacket, there is a zip and in there you have a connector cable to the gloves. So the, this cable connects to the gloves here. You simply just push that in like so. Do the same on the other side. And now you have your, your gloves powered from the one cable from your battery that is powering the pants, the jacket, and your gloves and the gloves switch on and off by this button here so you control those separately holding the button down and powers it on as with the pants the jacket the gloves also go straight to the high setting and then one press on each of the buttons takes you down to medium and then down to low and then you cycle through as you continue to press the buttons so a really nice system starting off with the heated pants and how that connects to the heated jacket and your gloves. Now, they literally have you covered from head to foot in terms of keeping you warm. Kais also do heated socks as well. So if you're interested in finding out how the heated socks work and are they good enough, take a look at Teapot One's channel. Um, he is part of the Kais Inspiring Riders program and he got the socks. So one of the things that he requested from Kais was the heated socks. So being up in Scotland, he, uh, his feet get a bit colder than what mine do down here. So he's got some heated socks. If you're interested in those, they will also connect to the trousers via a cable on the, or a connector on the inside. So the heated socks can also connect to this system as well, powered from the one battery source. And the heated socks connect via a cable in the, in the heated pants, if you've got the heated pants. If not, they will connect separately with a cable that will run down your pants, um, inside your pants, down to the socks. So that's how they connect to the trousers. They have a woolly hat as well, not connected by power, but Kais literally have you covered from head to foot with all the bits and pieces that they've got to keep you warm this winter. So now that we've talked about the powering of the individual items and all together, let's now talk fuses. Now you may or may not get these instructions uh, regarding the fuses in your pack when you get it. If you don't, just go to the website or uh, take the information from here. But here it'll tell you everything that you need to know about what fuses you need depending on what you're powering. So the trousers draw a 3.3 amp from the battery. So on the right hand side, top right, you will need uh, the next fuse up from that, which will be the 5 amp, which is a tan color fuse. The sleeve jacket draws 7 amps of power, so you will need a brown 7.5 amp fuse. The outer gloves or the winter gloves take a 3 amp draw, or sorry, a 1 amp draw from the battery. So the nearest fuse to that would be the 3 amp or purple fuse. So using all the garments together, the outer gloves, the sleeve jacket, and the trousers in combination at the same time, so 1 amp, 7 amp, and 3.3 .3 is going to draw 11.3 amps altogether. So you're going to need to use the 15 amp or a blue fuse. So if you're interested in any of these products, there are links in the description down below. 
There are affiliate links for the individual items. And as I said, if you purchase from those, you do help to support the Billy's Bike Adventures channel so that I can continue to make more of these videos. Again, thank you very much for that. Other than that, if you don't want to do that, it doesn't cost you any more to do that. If you don't want to, there is a website link that will take you to Kais and you can purchase from there as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, um, leave me a question in the comments down below. Send me an email, billysbikeadventures at gmail.com. But thank you very much for watching and I will catch you again very soon.